So what does the Arazi Arena Moto do that other gaming desks don't? Well, I mean, for one, it does that. There is a ton to love about this desk, but before I elaborate, I should probably unbox it for you so that you know what comes in the package. So, just give me a moment to put it back in the box. Don't go away, the Gamer Reviews things will be right back, right after I finish putting this damn desk back in the box. Before we move on with the unboxing, I should mention that the packages that the desk comes in are actually pretty heavy and kind of awkward to carry. So if you're anything like me and you have to walk up a huge flight of stairs to get to where you live, I'd suggest not taking the task on alone. Instead, have a group of your strongest friends help you bring the packages in. That's the way. Now the first thing you might notice about this desk is that it explicitly tells you not to use a box cutter when opening it. But no one tells me what to do. All right, here's what comes in the first package. You've got your steel legs and framing, this deceptively heavy tube that holds the mouse pad surface, the motor and controller, this mesh cable management net, a headphone rack, and of course, the manual. The second box contains the actual surface of the desk and the feet of the desk. And now to put this thing together. Okay, a uh, quick update. This sucks. Wow, look at that. So, obviously, we know this desk looks pretty, but at the steep cost of $800, why would you want to buy something like this? Well, how does adjustable height sound? High quality and extremely durable build? How about its programmable controller with a built-in display? Its very own headset rack? Its easy to use and extremely efficient cable management system? And don't fret, size kings and queens, the desk also happens to be extremely huge. And don't even get me started on the fact that the entire surface of this desk is a freaking mouse pad. All right, all right, before I get ahead of myself, let's take a deeper dive into each of these details and decide whether or not this desk is all it's cracked up to be. I'll begin by addressing what sets the Arena Moto apart from most other gaming desks, including its own predecessor. And that is, of course, its adjustable height. See, the Arena Moto here is actually an upgraded version of the regular Arazi Arena. They're nearly identical, only of course the Arena Moto features twin motors that allow you to adjust the height automatically and seamlessly. Okay, okay, so the thing moves up and down, but what makes that so special, you might ask? Well, apparently, and to my dismay, sitting down for long periods of time is extremely unhealthy. And if you're anything like me and you enjoy playing PC games for hours at a time, and you have a job that requires you to be at your desk all day, I could see a standing desk being pretty beneficial, especially since it's easier to move around for a quick workout or stretch when you're already standing up. Now I can get work done on my desk while also being a little bit healthier. Now let's talk about what is frankly the first thing you should look for in a desk, and that is durability. But there's only one way to test durability, and that is attempting to destroy it. But this desk was $800, so we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna put my axe away. It's not even sharp anyway. Honestly though, this thing feels like a tank. I mean, its load capacity is 265 pounds. That's 120 kilograms for those of you who use that weird metric system thing. It has thick, strong steel legs and a crossbar for added stability. I find this to be particularly important because I've noticed that when I'm standing by the desk, I have more of a tendency to lean on it than I would if it was a sitting desk. Next, and probably most significant, at least for this desk in particular, is its controller. This is the thing that is going to allow you to adjust the desk's height. It's extremely easy to use, too. It's got an up button, and it's got a down button. And I'm sure you don't need me to tell you how those work, but simply holding your finger on the up or down buttons until it's at the ideal height can be pretty tedious, especially if you're moving from the lowest setting to the highest setting on a frequent basis. That's where the programmable buttons come in. The controller has four numbered buttons and this M button. All you have to do to program a height is lift or lower the desk to whatever height you'd like. Once you're at your desired height, simply press the M button and the number you want to set the height to, and you've got yourself a preset height. Now, no matter how low you are, you can get extremely high with the press of a button. 
Oh, oh, no, I meant like height, like the height of the desk. This is just fog from the intro sequence. Some good fog, though. Man, all this reggae and fog is making me hungry for some reason. I'm not sure why. But you no longer have to fear being hungry during a long work session or having to pause your stream to grab a snack from the refrigerator. That's because this desk comes equipped with its very own snack rack. That's right, I've tested this thing and it can carry a variety of snacks like chips and candy and corn nuts and even miscellaneous items like a headset if you're into that. All right, okay, it's actually meant for headsets and headphones, but there's something wrong with a little bit of innovation, right? Anyway, this rack makes it very simple for you to store and access your headset quickly. It can also be attached to multiple different sides of your desk. Moving it is actually extremely easy too. All you have to do is unscrew these little thumb screws and move it over to any open space. I just wish they would have included more racks, that way we could, you know, have both a headset and snacks, but I guess for now, priorities. And that brings us to our next point. We're all familiar with the plight of cable management, right? You start off with two cables and everything looks okay. You slowly add a light here and a battery adapter there. And before you know it, you've got a pile of cables woven tighter than those warm sweaters grandma used to knit. And I know everybody says this, but my grandma really did knit the warmest electrical cable sweaters. As endearing as that sounds though, you don't want to mess the cables all over your floor. Luckily, the Arena Moto actually offers a very efficient cable management system. Beneath the desk is a mesh net that can easily be attached by simply hooking these little hoops to these little flat-headed screws here. The net sits underneath the desk and is extremely discreet. On top of that, the desk also has these large cutouts that can be used to feed your cable through and into the mesh net below. You can also use them to attach monitors. Personally, I found them useful for streaming as the holes fit my tripod and light stands perfectly so I can set up two lights and my camera. Okay, so the desk has got you covered in the area of cable management. It moves up and down, it's highly durable, and it's got a snack rack. But what about the part of the desk that you're going to be using the most? The surface of the desk. Well, that happens to be the part of the desk that actually impressed me the most. The surface of this desk is huge, and I mean like really big. This beast literally takes up about 75% of this entire set. That's because the desk is five feet, three inches wide. It's definitely the most spacious desk I've ever used. It provides ample elbow room and more than enough space than I think you'll ever need. With that being said, given the fact that gaming and especially streaming setups are becoming more and more elaborate, this kind of space could be extremely necessary. And look, I think desks are all beautiful in their own way. But let's face the facts. When it comes to gaming desks, size matters. Sorry, little Jimmy. <laughs> Speaking of this desk surface, the entire thing is a huge mouse pad and it's incredibly smooth too. But you might be asking yourself, what happens if this thing gets dirty? I mean, are we just stuck with the huge filthy mouse pad for the rest of our lives? Not necessarily. See, this mouse pad actually happens to be water resistant. Now, I don't drink too much water, okay? But if that also means that this desk is soda resistant, I'm on board. If you happen to spill anything other than fluids on this thing though, you have nothing to worry about because this mouse pad is actually easily removed and machine washable. The surface of this desk is also very soft and comfortable to rest my elbows on as I type. This desk is so big and soft, I might even consider sleeping on it tonight. Overall, my experience with this desk was actually extremely positive. Standing while working was something I never thought I'd enjoy, especially considering how much I love sitting. But I have found that standing while working has actually been beneficial for me, as it's a lot easier for me to work on my posture as I'm standing up, as opposed to, you know, slouching in a computer chair all day. It's also simply just a beautiful desk. Still, $800 is a lot of money to spend on a gaming desk, and if the ability to adjust the height automatically doesn't impress you, you'd probably be better off with something like the original arena. As I stated previously, it's pretty much the same desk except without the automatic height adjustment capabilities. It's also a few hundred dollars cheaper, so there's that. 
Alright, well that about wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching my review of the Arati Arena Moto. If you liked what you saw, check out some of our other reviews. They're hilarious and insightful. Also, don't forget to support the channel by liking this video and subscribing. Later!